everyone. I hope you're well. Okay, today I'm just going to do a general reading and see what comes out, see if we've got past, anything new coming in, anything else in your energy specifically today um, that might be happening for you. So I'll just give these a another good shuffle. I hope you're all well, hope you're all okay. Just while I'm shuffling, if you would like a personal read, if you just click on the title of this video, that'll take you through to the description box and also the free relationship reports in there as well. Right, okay, let's just see what comes out. Let's see what we get today. Okay, first one, justice. Okay. Could be Libra and energy. You could be Libran or someone you're connected into is Libran. Oh dear. Seven of Swords. Right, okay. Just off the bat, I'm going to get some more cards, but it looks like someone someone in your your energy or, or somebody you know is being a little sneaky with some legal matters. Yeah, if you've got anybody that you suspect is trying to, you know, pull the wool over your eyes or even somebody else's eyes. So if you've got somebody that's sort of naming and shaming you, uh, maybe they're covert, could be covert narcissist actually, and they are making out that it's your fault, they're going to get caught out. It's going to, you know, it's going to bite them in the backside, basically. Someone is going to get caught out. And also, if you're connected into somebody who, you know, some of the things they're doing are a little bit dodgy. That's a good word, dodgy. They need to be careful. They need to be careful. Um, I think your energy, you're getting your strength back you're getting a level of strength back here from something that you've had to work long and hard on healing. I think you've realised that you've sacrificed a lot of your needs caring for somebody else. you sacrificed a lot of your time and your energy just, just basically caring for someone else. you put your own life at times on the back burner. Um, almost like treading on eggshells to keep somebody else happy. You bit your, you bit the tongue a lot, you know. And all the time, this person was being a little bit sneaky. They were being sneaky, but they are going to get caught out. They are going to, they are going to get caught out here. Like I say, I think you've had enough. However, it's just a general read, so it's just really what comes out on a daily basis. But could be connecting in with a Leo as well, also um, Aquarius. So I've got Libra, Aquarius and Leo, which are the strongest energies today. But you've, you've had enough. You've, you've, just, you've just had enough. You can, you're kind of looking back at the past I'm getting, thinking, well, you know, I, I just don't... I don't want to do this anymore. You spent a lot of time soothing somebody else's ego. Okay, let's see what else is going on, please. Yeah, this person was reckless. They were thoughtless. And they just used to say, oh, never mind, never mind. And they, they think they can get away with something. Now, this person's had their own agenda. They've got their own agenda. They, it's like a sinking ship scenario. They'll save their own skin first. They'll save their own skin first. And you spent a lot of time making up excuses for this person. A lot of time, you spent a lot of time covering up for them, even if they weren't doing anything dodgy, but someone is doing something dodgy here. Someone is. So if you think they are, they're going to get caught. But you spent a lot of time covering up for this person. And like I said, even if it was just, um, you know, to family and friends, if family and friends were saying, look, you know, I don't think this person's very good for you, they're this and they're that, you, you would gloss over it. 
and you would gloss over it, but it's almost like your gloves have, you know, the gloves have come off now, as far as you're concerned. Right. Also in your energy is somebody new coming in. There is somebody new coming in. This person I don't think is going to be your type. I think it's going to come as a shock because I'm getting, especially those of you who were connected into someone who is being deceitful, you've almost, I'm not saying shut your feelings down, but you, this new this new romantic person or this new connection will almost reawaken those feelings that you've almost buried. You've almost buried because this took a lot of physical, mental and emotional energy to be with this person you were with before. You know, I think a lot of you knew that this person was sneaking around, but they denied it. You know, they just lied. They just lied. They, they just were totally thoughtless. And you've had enough. But this new person, like I say, probably might not actually be your type, if that makes sense. But I feel like the universe, I'm going to say that almost like the cosmic forces are like coming together to bring something else into your energy, which is going to reawaken you. It's going to reawaken you. Um, I think there's going to be quite a lot of... Um, passionate there'll be a passionate desire in this new relationship eventually i don't think you'll feel this at first but it will awaken your feelings yeah there's a new person who's going to express love for you right okay But straight, straight down the mirror, middle, we've got two energies going on here. The new person is going to express the love. They are going to reawaken something inside of you. But you know this is going to bring change. And for some of you, you are still connected in a soulmate connection. But the soulmate connection, the connection that you were in in the past, was at times... A little bit deceitful and reckless so you're going to be wondering whether you actually want to make that change whether you want to make that change or not the, the person that you're going to meet is going to express their love for you but that will you're not going to be sure what for some of you whether you want to do that or not because that will mean letting go letting go of the past but i think for some of you with regards to the past and just take what resonates because you know your own story for some of you i do think that you've had enough of forsaking your own needs you know you want someone who's emotionally mature you want someone who's strong you want someone who's reliable and, you know, at times a past person is not, is not, but, but it, it was a very strong connection. And I feel still is, for some of you, a very strong connection, a very still, a very strong energetical pull. So you will have a choice. You will have a choice. There is change in the air. It's going to feel strange at first for those of you who decide to take this leap of faith. I think there might still be some healing that needs to be done here. But whoever this new person is, they will want to form a bond with you as well. And it, it's just though this, it's like you've got the person from the past and then you've got the new person. And what's happened is this is bang in the middle, you see. So you're going to have to make some changes as to how how you actually how you actually want to go forward. Let's just see if we can get some more information on this. I'm just going to see what this new energy is about today. Um, like I say, your past person, if they've been doing something sneaky, they're going to get caught. If they've tried to pull a fast one over you, they won't get away with it. They won't get away with it. 
even if it doesn't look like it or feel like it at the moment, just hang on in there because their lies will come out. The truth will be told. It will be told. Let's just see what this new love is, please. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to cause you some anxiety. That's what I was getting. The change is going to cause you anxiety. Um, although it's going to be lovely and you'll enjoy that, I think it, it will cause you an some anxiety because you know then that will mean sort of leaving the past behind. Yeah, the new person is going to be stable though. They're going to be stable. They're also going to be financially stable. And by that, I don't mean a mansion. It could be a mansion. But it, it, they're just going to have a place of their own. You know, so they can put the carpet slippers under the sofa and all the bills are paid. That's the sort of person. Um, specifically, I'm getting it could be in the countryside. Yeah. Okay, that's the stalk card, Leomon. That means change, big change. And that's what's already in here, everybody. So something's coming, something is coming. The stalk is change, it is new beginnings. It can be messy though. It can be a bit messy in the middle while you're making the change. But there is a change coming in. Um, the new person I feel will like travelling, will like travelling. But I think, I just think in today's energy, you are, something like the universe is sending you this. They're sending this in for you, but it's going to mean stepping outside your comfort zone a bit because it is going to mean a change. Now, I can also see for some of you here, that this will mean, or someone's having a change of residence, someone could be having a change of residence, or will have a change of residence with this new connection, that will cause some stress, but it will all work out. You are going to have a decision to make. You have got a path this way or that way. Let's just see what else we can get on this new energy, please. I just feel a tug of war. It's almost like you've got this energy where you know the past person wasn't brilliant at times, but there's still a connection. And I think it frustrates you that there still is this connection and you do almost want to move on, but there's still this connection. It, it's just, like I say, the stalk is a new beginning, but it's messy. It is messy, but it will work out. You know, it's sort of saying, you know, love is strange. Let's see what else we've got. New energy, please. New energy. Yes. Yes, some of you are definitely going to walk away from the past. You're going to get that strength together. You're just going to say, that's it. You're going to walk away. And if you're thinking of moving or you've got any moving going on, you are going to move. I think for some of you, you're sick and tired of your past person's procrastination and airy-fairy way of committing to you. The past person is almost holding on to the ways of them doing things because that's what they've always done. Um, it's almost like they've got always got the finger in the jam pot, you know, like lots of different jam pots I'm seeing, but they're never quite sure which one to pick. You've had enough. Someone's had enough. Someone will walk away. If you're already in separation, this is telling me that you will emotionally disconnect. You will walk towards your own fulfillment, your own independence. Your self-esteem is going to go up. Yes, yeah, some of you definitely travel. You could meet this person at a social event or through... Excuse me, I've got an itchy ear. Ah, you could meet this person through a social event or travelling. Or they could be connected into a business that ships overseas or sells overseas. Yes, 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 you're just going forward. Let's 
specifically the new person I'm getting fire I'm getting the new person will have a lot of fire in the chart uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius either Sun Moon or rising but I see you walking towards that you're going to leave some of you are just going to cut the past out you sit you're sick and tired sick and tired of being a second option you know you've waited and waited and waited you've held on or someone's tried to sort their shit out um but i see you've and some of you physically moving physically moving but you are just growing you're growing love is strange yeah it might be a bit messy in the middle it'll be a pull it'll be a big decision but it is positive it is positive very very positive Let's just have a couple for you from Spirit. You know, the past person at times would just throw people under a bus to get what they wanted. You know, it's all about their agenda and, and half a job. I just get, I can just see half a job, you know, half a job done, nothing finished. And for some, just out and out theft. You know, for some, out and out theft. But like I said, if this the past, if they've been thieving or lying or cheating, they're going to get found out. And for some, it will end up in a court of law. I just do want you to know. Yes. You are going to do some more healing. You are going to still be healing. But it's saying let yourself sparkle and shine. You deserve this. Whatever this new energy is, you deserve it. You deserve it. And I know for some, with these two cards here that came out, you haven't had closure. You've been pillared and you've been told, you know, people have thought you were this. And they thought you were that because they've only had one person's version of the story. No, you need to let yourself sparkle and shine now. You know, you're being guided to be bold and show the world who you are. The, you know, no mask, you, really strong. I'm being told to tell you, don't go back to psychologically, psychologically meeting somebody else's needs all the time. You know, trying to keep everybody else happy this is your time now whoever this is for today this is your time now it's your time to shine it's your time to sparkle yeah you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone but it's there it's there and it's lovely it's it's a lovely reading today yeah passion and purpose Yeah, you know, there's just a lot of passion and purpose coming in your life. If you felt deflated, if you felt washed up and, you know, some days it's just even hard to get through the day. Something is changing. Something is changing. You are going to have a more meaningful, stable connection coming in. And try not to let, I'm going to say, try not to let... The toxicity, if you had it, the anxieties and the worries of the past eat you up. You know, stay focused to what you want. Um, and embrace you. Embrace the real you. Embrace you. Just just do you. Just be you. You know, don't 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 hold your tongue anymore. Don't hold your tongue anymore. Yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's saying this new energy, give it a chance. It is going to be different. It's going to be weird, I think. Well, they're not going to be weird, but it's going to feel difficult, especially if you've been in a long-term partnership before. You're going to be worried. It's going to cause change. You're going to be a bit scared thinking, is this going to work or, or is somebody else going to do the Seven of Swords to me? No. 
in this reading today, I don't say, it's just saying, give it a chance, especially if they're not your type. You know, because we all have a type, don't we? But if you think, oh no, they're not my type, give it a chance. Go out on a date, talk to the person, get to know them better, because the energy here, yeah, the, the energy here is good. It's good energy, really good energy. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Really amazing. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. If you want a personal read, just click the title of the video. It's all in the description box. Also the free rela rela relationship report. Take good care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.